Oh my goodness, we're live. We made it in the room. Hello, 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 everyone. I don't know what is going on. Uh, StreamYard is having some issues. I don't know. I guess everybody decided they want to do a show at 7 o'clock tonight. So <laughs> we couldn't get on. So we've been trying to get on for the last 21 minutes. And so uh, we apologize for the delay, but you have time. Go grab some friends because it's time for D-Works Live. My guest is here. We're here ready to talk to you. So grab a friend, tag someone really quickly and say, it's on, it's on. So go tag a friend, grab a friend, and let's get ready for the show, okay? Because ain't no stopping us now. Hey, we on the move. We on the move, (laughs) y'all. We got it going. So grab a friend. Share this post, tag somebody, because we're going to be talking to Miss Carrie Combs tonight and doing some birthday shout outs and a whole bunch of other stuff. So grab a friend really quickly. All right. We'll be right back. Your host, D. Spencer, the working lady. Whoever is out there praying, trying to sabotage my beautiful show today, we rebuke you right now. Wherever you are, we rebuke you. I know it's some hater. Must be some hater race you going on. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, because I call my guest the queen of stencils. And I still say it. She's the queen of stencils. You see what I'm saying? Stencils. So, yes. Hello, everybody. I'm your girl, D. Spencer, the working lady. And if the work won't come to D, then D will go to work. And we, they're making me work today. StreamYard, what's up? Can I get a refund for those 21 minutes when I couldn't get on? I just need to know, can I can I get a refund or something? Hey, everybody, thanks for checking in. Hey, Erica, what's up? Hey, Candy, Jen, Barbara was here right on time. Barbara Breitank was here before the show started. She was waiting in the wings. So shout out to you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, we were having some technical difficulties, and I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? Hey, what is going on? Okay, so, but we're here. We're here. Um, and before we go another further, um, oh, my God, see, now I got all discombobulated, and, and it just kind of threw me off my game. But we are going to persist either way. We got my girl Candy Jen checking in, as I said, Miss Erica Hotchkin. Uh, hello there. She says, hey, G and Carrie. And then we got, who is that? Uh, Candy says, hey, friends. Oh, she was here for a while. But Barbara said, I'm still here. She's like, I'm still here because Barbara knows I will continue one way or the other. I'm going to find a way to make it work because that's what we do. We we find a way out of no way. Don't let anything stop you. Stop you from your grind. Don't let anything stop you. Okay. So let me see. I think I got my birthdays in here today. We got some very special birthday shout out today. We're going to go ahead and do our birthdays. And then we are going to uh, introduce our guest. Uh, What is today? Today is the 23rd. So on yesterday, we had birthdays. Uh, Leslie Rabe had a birthday. Christine Dembraskis had a birthday. Christine Dembraskis Doherty. Kathy Ann Clark Yates. Hey, girl, happy birthday. Uh, Kevin Halliburton. I know I put two Vs in there. It's only supposed to be one. Uh, Nancy Lee had a birthday on yesterday. And then on today, let's see, uh, 
Do I have any birthdays today? <gasps> Ooh, I thought I had some birthdays today. So if you know someone that's having a birthday, type their name below. I also want to give another special shout out to my girl, Andrea Nicole Mohe. This is her birthday week. I think she's celebrating the whole month. Happy birthday. So happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You better celebrate because it's your birthday. Hey, hey. Happy birthday. You better celebrate because it's your birthday. Hey, hey. Happy birthday, everyone. Let me see if anyone in the chat is saying any birthdays. Hey, Miss Lindsay, how are you? Andrea, of course. I can't. Who says no sound? Don't, do not tell me all this time I've had no sound. Check your audio. Uh, do do I have sound? Please tell me that you all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Holla, holla if you hear me. All right, let me know. Can y'all hear me? I would hope that you all would be able to hear. Okay, let me know. It freezes when I comment. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Candy said it freezes when she comment. Girl, that's your internet. Check your internet, girl. Hey, Miss Lindsay. Okay, so it, don't do that. Y'all already have enough technical dif difficulties going on. Don't scare me like that. She can make my heart just palpitating, palpitating. Okay. Um, and, of course, we want to send out prayers to all those who are going through whatever it is that you're going through. We want to send prayers out to you right now. We ask that you remember all of those who are mourning, all of those who are in the hospital, anybody that's going through something right now. We ask that you will remember them and keep those people in your prayers because, uh, but for the grace of God, there go I. Um, so, oh, here go the birthdays from the 23rd. Dizzy Tunes, Edward, Tart Johnson, and Nikki Walker. Happy birthday. Uh, but uh, we want to send continued prayers of healing to my girl, um, uh, Tracy Lamb Smeege, Teresa Johnson. Also, also to my girl, Nikki Carol Sparks. Oh, my goodness. Y'all people are going through some stuff right now. So, uh, yeah. Wrong audio remember those people in prayer um, and also don't forget about the people who are suffering with depression anxiety just feeling alone in this world and also we want to pray for all of those people who are experiencing bullying on on social media right now you all be careful of the things that you share and spread around because when you spread these memes and different things like that of people remember those are real human beings behind those memes. Those are real human beings behind those videos. So be careful of what you're spreading and what you're sharing. Because in our laughter, we might be laughing at that person. I'm talking about the mean ones. The mean ones where you're making fun of people's looks and things like that. Be careful. I saw a video of a lady um, that's going around right now. And she was just in tears because someone told her that she needed to just go somewhere and jump off a bridge instead of doing videos. And she was just crying and so despondent. So I just want to remember those people in prayer as well. Don't be a bully. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Leave people alone. And if you don't have anything nice to say, get somewhere and sit down, okay? But we, we just want to ask blessings and love and compassion on people right now because a lot of people are hurting right now. So we asking God to touch those people, touch people that need healing right now, Touch those people who are recovering right now. We ask that you would touch the doctor's hands, the nurse's hands, send compassionate people in their circle right now. We just ask. And we thank you for each and every person who's going to join in this broadcast today. We're not trying to go on to a church mission or anything like that, but sometimes some people just need a little bit of prayer. And so we just want to send prayers of love and comfort and healing to all those in need right now. We thank you. Amen. All right. So we have to do our love prayer because, you know, we always have to give thanks, right? Okay. So uh, thank you, JJ, for uh, coming in the room. I see you. I see you. Uh, Erica says, keep uh, keep singing. Thank you, girl. Some people don't want to hear me sing. Mm -mm. Some people they don't want to hear me sing. They don't want to hear me. But anyway, all right, you guys. So let's get ready um, for my guest. She has been so patient. We were supposed to start at 7.05, and here we are at 7.30. I thank you all for being here. But my guest today, 
first of all, I want to say she is a beautiful spirit, a beautiful soul. But you know what? I'm mad at her because she gets all my money. Okay? She gets <laughs> She's taking all my money. What I mean by that, man, did y'all see the pencils? My guess is she's from Wyoming. She is, and I saw her when she first started out. When she first started in the industry, she was working with somebody else. We ain't going to talk about all that right now, but we're going to talk about the positive because this is Women's History Month. And and I saw her start this business from the ground up, just little by little. And at first, I felt like she was being so timid. But then she got her energy, she got her drive, and she jumped right out there. And she created her own line of stencils called Topaz Stencils. You all give it up for my very special guest, my friend, the woman who gets all my money, none other than my girl, Carrie Coombs. <laughs> hey, Miss Carrie. Hey, I promise oh, I won't make God. you go broke. <laughs> you're, yes, you're making me go broke. I don't know. Listen, you- I won't let that happen. <laughs> you don't know what Yes, listen, you might have to start an affiliate program or something so I can earn some credits, some points or something. We we going to get that in play. Get that in play. There you go. There you go. Yes. So, Miss Carrie, how are you? I'm doing good today. It's been yes, a busy awesome. day, but very good. Yes. Now that we finally got the thing, got the stream working and everything. Um, there see, you go. Everybody knew you were going to be on today. So it's like all this traffic is happening, you know? Right. Let's go with that. <laughs> so now tell everyone um, where in Wyoming you're from. Um, so I live in Western Wyoming, about mm -hmm. two hours south of Yellowstone. Ooh, okay. And now um, you started this stencil line. What in the world? What's your background, first of all? Well, as you mentioned, I started with another company. And that just kind of went sideways at the end. Um, so I just, you know, saw a need and just kept going, but for myself. So but, um, are you a face painter? No, not no, not at all. No, so not what, a face painter at all. You, what got you started into cutting stencils? Like, do you, are, are you, were you in arts and crafts? Did you go to school for art? design um, no i actually have a, ma a bachelor's degree in business and okay. um but i do have an artistic background with watercolors and whatnot but mm -hmm. um yeah i can do all the computer stuff and all the designing and just don't have a desire to do the face painting part so i oh. figure i'll do this in you all do your end and it <laughs> works perfect so when did you discover that you could create stencils that people would want to use? Um, while I was working for the other company, I okay. just slowly started designing my own. So, okay. oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. And then all you right. guys have great ideas. So I just run with Man. them. Let me tell you, your, your, your eye, your art, your artistic ability you you know you may not face paint but you have this artistic ability to be able to create and and you have to have something in you to be able to do that did you draw when you were younger did you um did you do any crafts or anything like that oh oh yeah yeah lots of that when i was younger and you know um it's it's a nice creative outlet so mm -hmm. just getting those things out but it's nice to be able to put them in stencil form because mm -hmm. then my realistic ideas, you know, go to you guys. So do you feel like um, that the industry as far as uh, working with stencils has changed over the years and has grown? Um, you know, one thing I've noticed is especially since the pandemic, um, mm -hmm. once things started opening back up, most people seem to be doing more stencil work because they don't have to worry about cleaning brushes so much. Um, right. They can just airbrush or they can change sponges really quick. So I see more right. people doing stencil work than, than before, yeah. Yes, and I know during the pandemic uh, when people weren't painting, um, hey, Miss Zuri J, there she is. When people weren't painting, um, there was like a whole creative drive for people to come up with creative ways to keep their creative juices flowing. And some exactly. of those ways in included um, making cards. 
because we were yep. isolated, we were homebound. And I know uh, during the pandemic, I made posters for people so that they could go stand outside hospital rooms and hold them up. And so yep. um, when you think of stenciling, a lot of times um, for us as face painters and artists, we use them in our craft uh, for face painting. And they're, they really come in handy uh, to do design. Look how many I got, y'all. This is, this. <laughs> listen, I own so many, I could probably start my own company just selling what I have, <laughs> but I won't because I'm not selling my stencils. Okay, y'all can't have Unless them. it's okay. another brand. Another right. brand. No. You can get rid of those. Uh, not e no, not even <laughs> another brand. I'm not doing that. Oh, you say sell the other brand. Keep these. Sell the other brands. No. <laughs> I would never. I would never just because I love them so much. It is like it's a problem. It's like a hoarding it problem is. with the stencils. It I, is. I think I probably own about two or three hundred of them by now. And I know you can't use them all. But, you know, if you get creative, you could come up with a lot of things to do with them, like make using them for cards. So not only can you use these for face painting, I'm going to show you all a quick design that I did. Ooh, a quick design that I did. And it's funny because I used, I created this, and I actually used the giraffe stencil to stencil on the, the, um, the uh, wait, let me go over here. Here we go. To stencil on his, uh, his pattern markings there. So I used mm -hmm. the giraffe stencil. Um, Barbara says she has too many, so there you go. So this is things like this we use it for. But um, you can do so many things with them. So now um, tell everyone where uh, they can go and find these stencils at, and what is the what is the craziest design request that you've ever gotten? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I won't name any names, but, uh, she knows who it is. She knows if she's watching, she knows. Um, I caught I, about once a week, I get an order for probably 20 custom stencils, which most of the time I'm able to put into the store. So, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Um, but anything that is realistic. Um, so I have a lot of, um, celebrities, you know, or, um, scientists and things like that. Um, one of my favorites is, um, Giorgio Sukulos. I did a, a stencil of him for a face painter. Um, so I really enjoy the realistic ones that I, that is my favorite, my favorite thing. Um, my name is Mom, and I'm a stencil I'm addict. Yes, I'm laughing at the comments. Melinda McCarthy says, hi, that my is name is so Mom, awesome. and I'm a stencil addict. If you are a stencil addict, raise your hand, because I know I am not the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's great because, you know, like you mentioned, they can be used in cards and things like that. I use them quite often in my mixed media artwork, um, okay. where I'm using um, molding paste and things like that. So it, Ooh, they work that's great. that's what I do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm not sure exactly what the craziest one was. I have a lot, um, but they, you can get them now at, um, topazstencils.equid.com. And I even yeah. set up a, a discount code for you, D. So if Ooh, they use we got a discount code, code. D, wor D works um, okay. at checkout, they'll get 15% off. So come on yay. now. So so, so yeah, you know, I can go to Topaz, Top with a Topaz. <laughs> wait, I'm trying to type it in here. Topazstencils.com. Nope. Wait. Dot Equid. You got to add dot the Equid. equid. Yep. Equid.com. Okay. Topazstencils.equid.com. Yep. All right. And use the code DWORKS. DWORKS. Does it, uh, does it, does it All matter? All capitals. All, All capitals. capitals. Okay. Yep. All right. So you got to use. You got to use all cap mm -hmm. work for fifteen percent discount. All right, that's pretty cool. And let me tell you, um, you will not be disappointed if you add these to your collection. Uh, I love that you can create custom stencils because my book, Greg the Green Grasshopper's Great Adventure, mm -hmm. I reached out to you to create a stencil for Greg, and you did. And yep. I've used you were my very for first custom, my very oh. first custom. Yes. You, do y'all hear that? Yeah, y'all be sleeping. D works is the I love okay. that one. 
that one is amazing. Yes. So if you go into the shop, you will find uh, Greg the Green Grasshopper's uh, Greg the Green Grasshopper stencils. That was mine. And I think I'm the first one that got you to do uh, glitter tattoos, am I? Or did you do it for somebody before? Um, That I don't before. remember, but I, I do a lot of glitter tattoos as well. So, okay. Yeah. Yes. Almost so can... every design can be made into a glitter tattoo. Almost. Almost every design. Yes. So. All right. Somebody said, type it into the chat. Okay. Topaz. See, I usually have an assistant here helping me, but I'm on my own today. Topaz Stencils.Equid. There we go. Use code DWORK. Okay, yes. For 15% off, yes, make sure you do that. And I love it because your delivery is so fast. That's the other thing. That is the other thing, the, um, the delivery is so fast. So anything that you can think of, she can create. I mean, I'm, I'm working at the zoo. I've had her to create stencils for me for Turtleback Zoo. Um, I've had her create stencils for me for uh, the Just Jersey Fest. I've had her create stencils for me for um, another company, Burger Ram, that I was doing. So anything you can think of, she, she does. And not only that, so these are the smaller range stencils, but I understand that you were also challenged recently with making some body paint stencils, which are a little bigger. So can you talk about those? Yes, I actually can make stencils up to about an 11 by 11, um, just because oh. that's the size of sheet I have right now. Um, mm -hmm. But um Yes, I can do some really big ones. Um, if you noticed on Facebook, um, mm -hmm. whether it's our group page or, or whatnot, um, Eris Purnell in yes. California. That's my she girl, did, Eris. Yes. yes, yes. She loves the big body paint stencils. And mm -hmm. she's been posting pictures of some amazing designs. So yes. um, whether it's Zentangles or... You know, something that tribal. looks like it comes out of the, you know, the Serengeti, you know, the tribal ones. Oh, yes. Yeah, we yes. can go big. Yeah. So, so I'm telling you, yeah. so this, this uh, Topaz stencils, I'm telling you, I've, I've watched you grow from the beginning. And I just think it's so amazing. Number one, that you are a woman doing this, you know, a woman company. She is, is a female company and that you are out here doing this. And so no matter what it is, hey, I see Dryer Buzz is on here. Hey, Dryer Buzz, Dryer Buzz, you might want to imprint some stencils onto your soap. She could actually create you a stencil for your soap, for your soap name, create a stencil, and, uh, and, and you could, like, imprint it onto your soap, girl. Get in touch with her. I'm telling you, she's amazing. So anything you can imagine, she can create. And I love it. The customer service, not only that, the customer service is spectacular. Because if you have a problem with anything with your order, she's going to go out of her way to correct it and make sure that it's what you asked for and what you wanted. What mm -hmm. inspires you as a stencil creator? What inspires me? Oh, for yes. sure, you all. I mean, <laughs> you, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could come up with great ideas, but you all are the ones who know what the kids want you know what the teens want do you know what's in right now and what's not mm -hmm. so i you are the ones who inspire me to do what what we do or what i do so yeah okay um is there anything that's been anything that's been a challenge for you like has there been one that really stumped you and you had to like do it over and over again to get it right there's been a couple. Um, probably the biggest one as of late would be the Zen Tangles stencil mm, that's on yeah. the website. Because you can go from a big stencil, but getting it into something that's only like three inches big, you know, mm -hmm. or even smaller, you know, that's that's a challenge to have a lot of detail in a small image. So, yes. but that's the fun part. Uh, I see our girl Andrea is on here. Andrea says, I love you both. We love you, Andrea. Did you miss your birthday shout out? We shouted you out for your birthday, girl. Hey, happy birthday. Um, so, yeah, and the artist she was talking about was Eris. Uh, mm -hmm. Eris, 
Mari Bam Pernell Green now because she got married. That's right. Um, she got married. Yes. yes. And Candy Jen wants to know how big can glitter tattoos be? Um, again, I can do those up as big as 11 inches square. Ooh. So, yeah. So not sure who wants to put that much body glue on somebody, but you know, yeah, never hey, know. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. Somebody, somebody so, yeah. might want a big piece for their back for a wedding or something like that. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So, so yeah, and I do so. see that Melinda McCarthy asked if I cut my own stencils and I do, I actually, my cat's standing in front of it right now, but I do have my own cutter here. I'm one of the few and um, that cut, their own stencils oh really um, oh I, my under, at least when i worked for the other company there were mm -hmm. only two um that cut their own stencils otherwise it went to another company um and they were you know ordered you know to stock in stores and things like that so yeah i wow. i'm one of just a few that cut them in house well, so i'm going to say i'm i'm going to tell you that i truly admire you because and for those of us that have our cricket machines and silhouettes and all those types of things trying to cut stencils it's a lot of work y'all i'm not it, look the cat, it is. baby the cat. Oh, i'm sorry it's, it's a, yeah it's a, it's a lot of work and it it seems like you know sometimes you can be like i'm not going to buy no stencils i cut my own can i tell you how many mistakes i've made <laughs> doing that but not only that it's time consuming and I mean, there are a few that I can cut myself, but I'd rather just give it over to somebody else to do because it just saves so much time when you can just click on an order and just have it shipped to your house in just a couple of days and not have to sit there. Because mm -hmm. literally when I make one, I usually spend about an hour or two just on one little one. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I appreciate all that you do because you make it look so easy, but yeah, it, it's, it's some work you all and kudos to those people who cut their own stencils. I know you have to, mm -hmm. I, my own stencils. I do my own good for you. Good for, good for yep. you. Keep on doing it. That's, yep. <laughs> that, that's great. That's great. If you've got it figured out, that's awesome. I yes. have found, you know, with the other machines that going through the mylar that I use is difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. It's and that was, not that's the other thing I love the the quality of these. Um, they're nice and flexible. They they mold to the skin really easily. Um, mm -hmm. You can use them with. I mean, if you're a face and body artist, you can use them with face paint, or you can use them with airbrush. Uh, you get great detailing when you use them with airbrush, but you can also still get that great detailing um, using a, a stencil or a dauber. Um, a lot of people have challenges. Do you have uh, challenges when it comes to stenciling? Do you have any recommendations or any suggestions for people uh, that say, oh, I have so much trouble with stencils and it's bleeding through or anything like that? Do you have some tips for people? Um, the biggest thing is just to make sure that you're, if you're using a dauber or a sponge, make sure your um, paint is tacky. You want it to be more on the dry side and then you won't mm -hmm. have that bleed under because it's easier to go over it again than trying to remove what's bled underneath. Yes, that, that is so true. So, and, and it <laughs> takes practice as well. Uh, Jolie Hayes, hey, Jolie says she makes the most gorgeous stencils. Yes, I will say that little uh, Jolie Hayes there is my niece who also helps me out. So if ever anything goes wrong, I blame Jolie. So. <laughs> oh, poor Jolie. But Jolie is saving for college. So this is a great way to, you know, give her a job. And, you know, and Alex as well. You've probably seen pictures of Alex. So they've okay. both helped here and my husband helps. So awesome. it's great. It's a whole yeah. family affair. It uh, is, Andrew especially now sucks. that we've got more retail, retail um, stores. So. Yes. Oh, speaking of that, let's talk about that. So you, you started out with your own online store, but yep. now you are in several locations now. You have branched yep. out. So do you want to talk we about um, the distributors who are out there yes. carrying your line now? Yes. So our first store was actually um, just face painting HK in Hong Kong. Um, oh, then we got baby, FX. Yeah, we're international, baby. Yes. So yes, we got um, free uh, freaky FX in Australia. Um, okay. 
we have um, Kim Hatch. Um, she's um, Chit Chat Killown. Um, we have okay. um, Magic Box in the UK. We have, um, oh my gosh, I knew I was going to blank too. Um, we have um, we have one new one. I can't announce that one just yet, but Magic Box. And then um, Gretchen Fleener with Paintertainment um, is okay. also a retailer. So we have seven total now. So, but All across right. the world, so, which is great. All right, there we go. Yes. So um, she is international. You see that, how she just grew that. And, and it just came from a passion of wanting to do something, taking a skill that she loved. Not in, And again, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in that particular industry um, in order to, to provide a great service. Um, I'll give an example, like the, the lady that does the craft and goes who's selling that business, but I don't think she's a face painter either, but she, she came up with an idea. Um, mm -hmm. What you need to do if you have an idea of doing something is you find the need, meet the need, and then if you just find the need, meet the need, and then the customers will come. And I've just seen you grow so much. And yeah. I just want to say congratulations on your growth. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Congratulations for hanging in there. Because right? I, I mean, during yeah. COVID, I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> so to start and at zero that. and be where I'm at now. Yeah. Right. Crazy. And also, I want to say dur during the vid, during the shutdown, um, you were very supportive to a lot of artists because you also uh, came up with a program where you were getting artists to use the stencils. And she basically was mm -hmm. sending us stencils to use and almost like almost like we were the test audience to uh mm -hmm. try out the stencils and and so to me that was giving back like so it's not right. just about giving and you always add a little extra something uh whenever you send something out and i think that's just mm -hmm. so sweet i don't know if she do that for everybody but she do that for me i, I do <laughs> i do actually do that for everybody some get a little more some get a little more. yeah right right i think i think that is super awesome and um, that's the way that you can continue to be blessed. Because if you don't know, if you don't know the formula, people, the formula for growth is the more you give, the more that you will receive. So exactly. if you're out here and you're having a business and all, you, all you're doing is got your hand out, you're never giving, you're never sharing with anyone else, hmm, you might struggle a little bit with your business. You have to be willing to give a little bit in order mm -hmm. to receive. So I just thank you for your giving spirit. Oh, you're thank always you. like, you know, supporting the industry, supporting artists and just being encouraging. And then recently you started some contests on your page. Every, yeah. every time I turn around, I said I was gonna participate and I kept missing the deadline. <laughs> Um, so, um, are you still doing contests and how I, is that going? I like to do, yeah, I haven't done anything lately because like I said, there's that one person who's keeping me busy with the customs all the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, hey, I, I still do. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, no, she's, she's great. I love her, but, um, yeah, no, I, I love to, and I'll go through, um, if you use, um, hashtag Topaz stencils wherever you happen to be posting, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever, um, I will, I randomly go through and just pick somebody at random and send them stencils based on post, um, them using the hashtag. Oh, so. y'all better hashtag, y'all better use that hashtag, hashtag Topaz Stencil, T-O-P-A-Z Stencils. Y'all better use that hashtag and follow her <laughs> on Instagram. She has an amazing Facebook group as well. And also mm -hmm. one of uh, one a, a line that you started carrying that I love one of the most one of my favorite artists in the industry Tamina Muhammad. Oh yes, you have partnered with her to create some of her uh, some of amazing. her designs into stencils. So yes. can you talk about that partnership and and getting oh, those designs I... in the store? I love Tamina. The first time I met Tamina, I felt like she was family from the get go. Like yes. she was just a sister in a previous life or this life, whatever. But, mm -hmm. um, yes, she is an amazing artist and fortunately, um, allows me to, um, make many stencils from her designs. Um, her most recent one, um, I don't know if I have it. Um, uh, oh, I do. So the most recent one, 
is. Oh, thank you. I got that. Yes. 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 Ah, and I yes. I love this one. This is probably one of my most favorite. I named it. Um, and nobody's gotten it yet. I named it Carl the Urban uh, Unicorn. Um, because as you know, there's you know, a lot of urban and street art. Um, yes. So it's all very fun. And, you know, you add the, you know, the splashes and the graffiti and the bricks and all of that. And yeah, you can come up with so much fun stuff for those kids. But she is one person that is full of ideas and is so creative. Yes. 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 I can't. I cannot wait to use this. I'm so excited. Yeah. I think this is my first Tamina stencil. Oh, this is a privilege. Yes. She I is amazing. It. I love being able to work with her. So oh, yeah, yeah, she's amazing. So look, I'm going to show yeah. you all some some of these amazing designs. This okay. <clears throat> I know. I love the panda stencils that you do because. This is so cute. I have one of the other ones. And these make the cutest designs. Cutest, cutest designs. Right? This is the panda. I'm going to show you all some of these stencils. And some of you may have some of these. <laughs> Tamina's style is absolutely unique. Um, yes. This one, this is the seashell. And this one is actually really good because you can actually use this one to make candy and mm -hmm. uh, different designs like that. Um, it, it's really cool. Look, we're going to flash this one real quick. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no. We ain't talking about Bruno, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't know about that one right there. Mm, keep that to yourself. And then um, we have this cute little Easter bunny or this little bunny. Uh, some I celebrate love Easter. that one. See, again, one of my more realistic ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I love that. I'm going to show you all some. And then I cannot wait to use this one. This is the candle from canto yes. yes and if you had not sent me that it would not be there ah, ah, ah. see I, listen i'm the inspiration behind some of these designs that's right ah, that's right uh erica says that she, uh that she loves uh tamina's aliens right and oh yeah her aliens yes. i'm actually working on one right now just a little hint um if you've seen her grinch um, oh, we're yeah. doing a Grinch for all seasons. Mm -hmm. Now, I got really excited because um, I'm working at the zoo. And uh, I don't know who inspired that, who ordered it first. Uh, somebody ordered some zoo animals or something. And I was like, yes. I don't even know why I didn't think to just ask you to do a line for me. Now, for those that really know me, uh, so I'm at the zoo. But if you really know me and you've been following me for a while, Y'all know about me and raccoon. <laughs> Remember Ricky Raccoon, you all? If you've been following oh, yeah. me for a while, then you know about Ricky Raccoon. So, uh, so that's a, this one I love. This is um, uh, the silverback. Mm -hmm. Oh man, look at that, you all! And the thing about it, um, we we might do an, another show. I might I'm gonna have to do a pop up beauty body and art after dark show for this, but um to to just show which i've done like during the pandemic i was showing people like how you could take your stencils and just create unique designs some people get them and they don't know what to do with them well guess right. what uh, yes candy that's another book girl yes it is but you can uh you can create so many designs you just have to get out of yourself get out right. of you know being boxed in with your thinking of that you can't do certain things there's no rules there are no rules. You can use these on, as she said before, you can use them to make cards, uh, make your own cards, birthday cards, um, cards to give to your customers, cards to send out to people using the stencils and just simple stippling on with a yep. dauber, a sponge, lightly loaded, and you will be surprised at things that you can create. I love this one. There's so many. So I just want to <laughs> show you all what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Ooh, ooh, yes. Um, Candy says she needs tiny wild animals. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so these now, are, now, oh, this one speaking is so of cute. Candy, Candy does challenge me quite a bit because she does her earrings with stencils yes. that are only about an inch and a half long. Those are yes, her, her additions. Yes. 
Yeah, she's the only one that I will do that for. Okay, so see, so, she has yeah. an exclusive line. She has an exclusive, but she line. likes to pick the really detailed ones mm -hmm. <laughs> to try and get me to put into a little half-inch design. Yes. So anything you can imagine, she can pretty much help you come up mm -hmm. with a design. So now this one, I um, it was already in the store, and I didn't realize it was in the store. Chandra did a birthday party, and she did not know this dragon. And I was like, is it the dragon from Rhea? She couldn't think of it. And, and I said, hey, I need to get this uh, stencil. This is, so now this one is a two-part stencil. Yep. Um, so basically, you would lay your base color down and do this part first. And then, uh, and then you can come in with your details with another color right mm -hmm. here. Again, like I said, we're going to do another show to show you how to use some of these one night. We're going to do that on late night show, late night show. But you all, you see, oh my gosh, it's just so, so many, so many amazing, amazing stencils here. Um, this is a great way, a great addition to add to your business. Don't be mm -hmm. afraid. Now, here's the thing. If you have people saying, for those of you that feel like, oh, stenciling, that's cheating. If you've never used stencils to do a face and you think it's cheating, let me see you try it. I'm telling you, it's a specific art to be yeah. able, and a specific technique to be able to use stencils effectively so that the mm -hmm. designs look good. Because, honey, let me tell you, see, I was playing with that giraffe earlier. Oh, there I you go. Now, see, that's what I did. So even with this, this is what I'm saying. You could take a stencil and just use it out of context. So I love this giraffe, but I had been working on um, a forehead type giraffe. And I, I just used the body of this stencil to put the texture on the giraffe. But I created this, but I used the stencil to do it. And I, so this is a design and then this is another design and I just use the stencil on mm -hmm. uh, the, the pattern on the giraffe to create it. So you can just take things and use them out of context. You can twist things around. So don't be afraid to like experiment. Oh God, look at the giraffe. I meant the zebra, the zebra. Look at that detail. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And I feel like your price points are very fair. Um, so you all can uh, go to her website again. Go check out topazstencils.equid.com. And if you put in the code DWORKS, you will get 15% off. And if you mm -hmm. are a creator out there, you're creative, you're making, um, uh, you're making shirts. You can even airbrush shirts. You can paint yep. shirts. Some of you are painting on canvas. You can use stencils on canvas. There's so many different things that you can use. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, watch out though, because Carrie will have you broke. You know, Carrie will have you broke. I'm telling you. With our right. <laughs> but we love you. We love what you do. And we thank you for providing such a great tool for our industry. Is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to? Oh my gosh. There's so many. Um, I'm going to say no, just because I don't want to forget anybody. Exactly. You're going to get in trouble. I, I just have to say thank you to everybody, because quite honestly, without you guys, I would not be here doing this. So, well, we, you know, we given me the ideas to keep me going, you know, it, it means a lot. So thank you to everybody who's ordered and given me ideas and, you know, who just supports me in all kinds of ways. So. Yes, yes. Well, we want to say thank you for being a phenomenal woman during this oh, Women's you. History Month, uh, for owning a business, thriving in your business, but not just that, being a support to, uh, to everyone in the face and body industry. And let me tell you, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. If you're any type of artist and you want to add this extra tool to your kit, then don't be afraid. If you've never tried stencils, try it. You can create wall art, um, anything. You know, you might want to create something on a pillow. You might want to create something on a wall, on a desk, on a table, anything like that. You can do it. The sky's the limit. And if you go into the stores, most of the time, you'll see kind of the same type of things all the time. You want something unique. 
you're planning a wedding, wedding gifts or, or baby shower gifts or something unique, mm-hmm. you can reach out to Topaz Pencils and she can create whatever you need, I'm telling you, and you will get it fast and in a hurry as well. And the price point is not bad also. So um, thank you. Does anyone that's watching have any questions or comments for our girl, Carrie? Um, and I know we have a lot of people who are actually co-signing on how great you are and all the amazing things. Andrea is another one who uses stencils. <laughs> Andrea oh, yes. She probably has every stencil that you own, that you make. She probably has every one of them. If, and, if it is um, super delicate, yes, she's got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so I, I personally have dubbed you the stencil queen. I don't care who gets mad. Oh, well. And again, thank you all for supporting what she's doing. There's yes. enough out here for everybody. And the thing I love exactly. about Carrie is that it's not about, oh, I'm over competing with somebody else. or I'm trying to step on someone else's toes. Everyone, please remember this. There is enough room for everyone out here. Exactly. There's enough room for everyone out here. We want to shout out to all the other stencil makers out there. Absolutely. There are several other uh, several others out there who make amazing stencils, and yep. we appreciate you as well because Absolutely. not only do I purchase from Carrie, I also purchase from a couple of other brands. Um, mm-hmm. And so we we want to say thank you. And so there's no big eyes and little use. It's just the providing a service. And people go when yep. people are nice and not saying other people aren't nice. Uh, Barbara said porch signs. That's another one. Yes, you can do mm-hmm. porch signs with them. So uh, thank you, Melinda. Mm-hmm. Melinda, send us hugs. Hey, oh. I'm receiving my hug. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So um, in, in, supporting, in supporting this business, don't support one business and dog out another business. You know, because oh, no. like I said, there's room out here for everyone. And, Absolutely. you know, really, and- yeah. And what's yeah. nice is everybody's got something different. You know, yeah, we're exactly. all just a little bit different. You know, I, you know, I'm, I, this is a big assumption on my part, but um, I am assuming that everybody's like I am and tries really hard not to duplicate something somebody else has because mm-hmm. there's so much creativity out there. I mean, you can only yes, go so is. many different directions with a superhero logo, exactly. but you know, there's all kinds of other stuff and we're all so different. So there's room for everybody and competition. It it is. It is. All right. So thank you so much, Carrie. Thank you for hanging in there with me me. all of the technical difficulties. We appreciate you. I see that StreamYard is sending me a message, probably apologizing for the technical difficulties. (laughs) Hopefully they have that refund. (laughs) <laughs> come on now i need a refund a credit or something but um, you also you all be sure if someone you know uh missed this broadcast that you will share it with them tag someone on this and leave a comment throw some hearts up if you're watching on facebook make sure you like this post make sure you like it and make sure you throw some hearts and likes and whatever uh, whatever the loves you can throw throw it on there throw it on there just do it do it all right so I want to say again, thank you, Carrie. Appreciate you so much. And again, don't forget, you can get a 15% off discount using the code DWORKS, all in capital letters, one word, D-E-E-W-O-R-K-S, at topazcensils.equid, E-C-W-I-D.com. And yep. um, you will be able to get a discount. So make sure you share it. So share this post. Uh, how long are we going to let that last? Mm-hmm. How long as long as, it last? as long as we okay. want. Okay, so it's out there. So you all be sure to go and take advantage of that discount. And also make sure you go to her page and follow her because she does some amazing deals. Okay, she always has a discount on there. But sometimes she do some, she does 30% off, 20, 30% off. That's unheard of. So right? make sure you're following so you can keep up and get on that mailing list so that you will know when those deals go into effect because they are awesome. Okay. Yep. So thank you so much, Carrie. We appreciate you thank and you. we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Y'all give it up for the Thank you, Barbara. Barbara says hugs to the both of you. All right, you all. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to get out of here because we're well over our time. 
even though I can have it as long as I want to, but I like to be considerate of people's time. But thank you all for viewing and make sure that you share this with a friend. We apologize for the technical difficulties at the start and we had to start it a little late, but we thank you for hanging in there with us and being here. Be sure to catch us on Friday for Let's Have Fun Friday. We're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you would like to be a guest on the show, just hit me up. Send me a DM or if there's someone that you think would be a great guest on the show, let me know because this is Women's History Month and we are saluting women. That was like my Oprah voice. <laughs> all right, you all. Thank you so much for being here. We will catch you next time. Oh, before I go, I got to do a little bit of housekeeping. Today's show is sponsored by scfpainting.com forward slash um, shop. Wait scfpainting.com forward slash shop. Make sure you go there and check out that site. Also, that's another site where you can get 15% off. Y'all, I got friends everywhere. They just giving y'all discounts. Y'all get discounts on my name. Make sure you go check it out for all your shirts, mugs, key rings, unique items. For all those needs, you can go to scfpainting.com. Shout out to my girl, Joyce, for being a sponsor of the show. All right, so we will catch you next time, and uh, you all be blessed in your walk. All right. Everybody be good. Be safe. Be well. We'll catch you next time. Let's go, y'all.